Welcome back, everybody. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much. Um, we're taking you outside with us to do the evening chore check. As you can see, the sun is going down in the beautiful horizon right behind us here. And we normally like to come outside here and do a nice little animal check. Um, it's very big crucial to check on all animals quite often. So if there's any issues, we can help them out. So, I'm going to turn you around to the chicken coop here. And everybody is in the house. Which chicken house. Really shocking. Which is really shocking because it's still quite light out here. It's so only Steph's, 8 o'clock and then more, normally don't go to bed till 9. There you go. Steph's been doing a lot of the work around here. I've been extremely busy with a uh, full-time job. So... Basically, Steph shuts the outside run door. Uh, we'll go in quick and make sure everybody is okay. Uh, we do have an automatic chicken door on the chicken house, and that's basically, it opens up about 7 a.m. in the morning, and it closes at 10. at 10 at night. So we're just gonna sneak in here and we'll just show you everybody. So they're doing good in their house. Um, there hasn't been too many issues yet. Rather than, we do find some of them don't understand where to roost. Mr. Male is uh, there in the corner. He's trying to be a male. Um, I'm going to step out here so Steph can just put these ones up here quick and make life a little bit easier. But no, everything is going good here in the chicken coop. We're still having a little bit of issues with them not wanting to roost up on their bars. Uh, the old original seven birds we have have decided to run king, or I mean run queen. And yeah, so otherwise than that, they're doing pretty good. We're starting to get eggs now, um, which is really good to see. And yeah, there's nothing really on that home front to be concerned about. Let's take you quickly over to the pig pen here. We had about an inch and a half of rain the last two days. So quite a bit of rain here. So kind of have to bear with us. It's all a mighty mug, muggy pen, as I like to call it. But they're pretty happy. You need to grab the shovel, I mean the handle here. I'm hearing some ticking noises on the wires and as like usual, they just push some dirt up. So we just gotta get this cleaned up here quick. So stuff's just gonna do that quick. Let's see what the pigs have done. So the pigs like to move their house daily, I find. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. I don't really care if they move their house daily. But they basically have gone to bed. They're fast asleep. We can stand here and talk all night and they pretty much will not even move. So. Oh, that got their attention. There's one coming out. They heard some food. Anytime they hear feed, they like to get up and check it out. So there's nothing new with the pigs. Um, everything looks really, really good with them. We are still planning on doing our butchering in October and that should work out for us. Uh, reason why we don't want to do it now is it's too warm and I don't want to lose the meat and I have no cooler, so. Otherwise they're doing really good. So. Yeah, I think they're six months old now, so uh, at butcher time they will be seven months. Uh, they're definitely at butcher weight now, but like Jess said, because weather-wise with it being still quite warm and we don't really have the facility to, like for a cooler, we'll have to wait. We still have lots of food for them, so we're not going to run out of that, and they're still doing pretty good, so... And there's lots of garden scraps still oh, yeah. to go. So 
We're going to run you over quickly to the garden just to give you guys a quick update here. Um, our garden videos are wrapping up now. Uh, there's not much really left to do in there. We've got some pumpkins to pick and that's pretty much it. Uh, the cucumbers are past their prime now. They've gotten bitter. So basically, pretty soon we're going to start feeding them to the pigs once our corn goes out. So. And there we go. We took the main net down for the simple reason. We don't need it up anymore. We put up a smaller net, but it's not electrified. Don't tell it to the chickens. But it's keeping them out. So otherwise than that, everything looks pretty good. So. Yeah, the way the chickens are eating the cucumbers that are left, uh, I would like to protect my pumpkins, so <laughs> that's why we put up the little fence. So, Like usual guys, thanks for watching and see you next time around.